Okay, so what I have here, I just want to show the living space inside this. Um, what I have here is the One Tigress cot. <clears throat> at the One Tigress table. And might as well top it off, right? You got the, what's this say? Oh, there it is. Got the One Tigress chair. So, we'll set those up, see how it looks in this living space, and uh, we'll get back to you. This has a little channel. If you just kind of pinch, put that hole in the channel, it'll feed right through. And we're in. Same way. From Tigers, you got bad, uh, you got bad bungees. I don't like them. I haven't had the car very long. Um, that's really odd. This one's the same way. So those are 
the, the risers. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to put those on while I'm setting this up for the sake of how much room I have in here. Still works, you just gotta make sure when you put it together you fully seat the pieces since the bungee is no longer doing that. And there's that. Again, risers for time being, bungees. And moment of truth. Oh yeah. Got yeah, plenty of room. That's awesome. Yeah, there's gonna be a plenty of room. scares me because the feet leg I need to make sure they stay in. That is so odd. So if you go to pick up this chair, it's no good. No good. So uh, when tigers, why does it do that? This is the high back version, so I do like that. So I got this a little more comfortable. But it doesn't take up much room either. Other than now, it's got to make sure the legs don't fall out. So strange. This does have windows, afternoon style, just drop down, you can hang it up too, you got the little flips here, but pretty good mesh. I got the chair, head over here, same thing. These are like scaring me now since the bungees aren't holding it in. There's quite a bit of room in this thing. I like it. Got your stove jack up there. I think I saw a mod. Uh, someone did it on another video I saw. So they you open up the flap that covers the stove jack on the outside of the tent. You lift that up. Uh, and then they bought another sheet with a hole in it. You buy some of this mesh here, and then you cut a hole out. And then you actually put the mesh in, and it actually adds like another vent. So, who knows? But yeah, pretty cool. I'm excited. This is neat. It's definitely a lot of room in here, that's for sure. And uh, the cool part is with this floor. Um, like so it's two separate pieces so what's neat about that is because the tent is so big 
Um, if you want, you can wear your shoes in here, or you accumulate dirt, just take the floor out, take it outside, shake it off, and bring it back in. No big deal. Well, I'm gonna goof off a little bit, but uh, yeah, that's uh, the living space of the One Tigress Solo Homestead TC, which I'm gonna look that up real quick. <laughs> I don't know if I said it right. Uh, so it is TC. Look, TC tent. I'm just gonna pull it up on one tigress's website. Yeah, if you look here, uh, So yeah, if you look here, um, one tiger's this site. So you go here, store, and then yeah, camping. And then they have TC, which in parentheses says poly cotton. So that's why originally I thought this was a poly cotton tent. But when you read it, I didn't know what TC still was. It wasn't telling me. Um, Terraline. So right here, Terraline cotton, 65% polyester, 35% cotton. So there it is, SBS zippers. They're not YK, was it YKK zippers? But I mean, SBS, I feel like they're still good. So yeah, Terraline cotton. Um, and supposedly, I had to Google Terraline cotton because I don't know what it was. But uh, so you have to weather your tent, which means you set it up, leave it outside, uh, it either rains or you get a garden hose and spray it down and the water is supposed to uh, open and then eventually close the pores of the fabric thus making it more waterproof. So uh, obviously I, I've set it up, I haven't uh, done that yet as it's brand new to me but so we'll see what that does. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready to get it wet right now. Um, because we're supposed to get snow this weekend, either today or tomorrow. So I don't really want to get this wet and then have to figure out somewhere to dry it off inside the house. So, uh, but for the time being, let's set it up. We'll do it another day when it's not so, not gonna get so nasty. Um, yeah. So this is it. A little more of a. Yeah, here's a chair I was sitting in, window. This thing is pretty cool, I do like it. Pull on in there, in case it rains. Um, I do have some extra poles. I'll have to pull these two poles tighter because obviously this is not correct, but I do have another pole that will go up in the center here uh, so you don't get rain accumulation. But uh, there's the stove jack. Yeah, man, I'm digging it. I like it. It's got a good color. I think it's just the right size, too. Not too big, not too small. Should definitely have plenty of room to two people in there and definitely get two cots, that's for sure. So. Well, guys, that's it. We'll uh, probably maybe wrap up a little bit, get some stuff in sacks. Wind's picking up, it is getting colder. It's still nice out, but yeah, man. Uh, one Tigress 
Solo Homestead TC Caroline Cotton. I think I got it right. Uh, yeah. Can't wait to check it out. Well, it's been fun. Uh, small channel, just starting. Only got a couple of vids, but just something I like doing. This is something fun. I got the equipment to do it. I'm a photographer. But uh, maybe I'll snap a few photos of this and maybe you'll end up on the channel again. So until then, appreciate all your time and uh, viewing. So take it easy. So one thing I forgot to mention on this is up on this canopy right here, maybe hard to see, go this way. This actually has gear loops. So if you want, yeah, it's got it on both sides, I think. Yeah. So you got gear loops here. So if you've got the awning up. There little gear loops and they go from the front all the way to the back on both sides to hang stuff I just now noticed that <laughs>